Fridge, thanks for talking to us. A good win on Tuesday. How was training today? Yeah, it was good. We had a after the game on the Wednesday. We just had a day off, um, and then Thursday, more of a recovery day because you know games in quick succession. Yeah. Um, but we've just done a bit and then uh, in rest, recover and uh, get ready for Saturday. And you've had a little look probably, or, or is that going to be this afternoon or tomorrow, at the uh, Cambridge game? How did you assess it overall? Yeah, we debriefed it today with the gaffer, all the players. Uh, yeah, it was a good win, but just a few key pointers the gaffer wanted to get across and then it's on to the next game. You spoke, uh, spoke to Wolfie as well after the match. He said it was quite different in that you were playing a bit higher. Um, him, you, JD as well. What was that like as an experience? Because most of the action was in their half, to be honest. Yeah, it was good. Uh, the gaffer said before the game, obviously we don't do this every game, but we needed to lock down, keep the pressure on him and don't let him out. So we kind of really went like, one of the back, really. Yeah. And then I was pushing on into midfield and... That's how we the game plan was, and I think if you were watching the game, you could see it worked. Lots of regular minutes for you recently. How are you finding your, your form at the moment? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, we're a team, so there's going to be points in the season when I'm in, when I'm out. Yeah. Uh, same for everybody. So uh, now it's good to get a run of games, some minutes, and I feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things now. And working hard as a unit, and unfortunately we did see the, the injury to Greg, but Leaf's been on that left side and been doing ever so well, hasn't he? What's it been like having him next year? Yeah, he's good. Uh, love playing with him. You know, we've been training really well together. Uh, he gives you a lot on that left. You know, he's up and down. He's just non-stop. So, yeah. uh, no, he's a great addition and hopefully he can keep his form, form going. And we saw, it was a few games ago, of course, but you took that, that ball out of Sheffield Wednesday. Don't know if you're claiming the assist or not, but Dead that's right. a role that you're enjoying, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The gaffer's encouraged him more. I felt like I was doing it a lot last year and then probably the start of this season I've not been doing it as much and the gaff has been been on at me to try and get it in our in in my game again. Yeah. And uh you know it's something that helps the team it when you're stepping out with it, it draws plays to you and then it makes other people free. So mm. something that I've got to try and keep doing. Another long trip this weekend, we're getting a few of them out of the way early in the season, aren't we? What are you expecting from Morecambe? No, nah, no nah, well I've I read Connor Connor's uh, comments I know yeah. from Oldham so uh I feel like we know what kind of game it's going to be. Um, you know, they're not doing the best, but it's League One at the end of the day, and you know, there's never an easy game. So uh, it's going to be tough, tight pitch, you know, tight stadium. So uh, we just got to be on our game and hopefully get the three points. Is that something that you're feeling you are having to adapt to each game because every opponent offers something different, don't they? And they might approach the game differently, maybe sitting in more or actually coming at you guys. You know, how do you approach each match? Yeah, it's, you look at. Plymouth, they they come and had a go, yeah. And then uh, Cambridge on Tuesday, you know, they've sat and tried to get a point. Um, that's where I think the the gaff is really good. He, you see, with say team selections, he, he picks games for uh, picks teams for different games. You yeah. know, it's not always just the same same starting eleven like some teams do. And I feel like that's a credit to the squad as well. You know, we've got don't really matter who's playing. We've got great additions and. Uh, something that we've all come together with and uh, support each other who's picked. Mm. And finally, it's um, more than a thousand people going up to, or members of the Blue Army, sorry, going up to Morecambe. It's been incredible numbers all season, hasn't it? That's four figures at, at every away match now. Mm. Do you really feel that when, you, when you're on the pitch at these tough places? Yeah, you do. Like with Morecambe, I don't even know how long the drive is, it's, mm. but everybody knows it's a long one. So, uh, no, it's, just, it's unbelievable. Like the. You know it's expensive. It's not. It's not cheap to yeah. to come and watch watch your team play and to travel all that way and have you know a thousand thousand fans there is uh, terrific. So hopefully they can just make those a noise.